Hi there, this is Tomek for Charles Wood, English teacher, your language tutor online. Today we're going to do another practice job interview so you can see the sort of questions one might get in a job interview and the sort of answers you may like to give. Um, so without further ado, let's begin. Hello. Hi, um, my name's Tomek. How do you do? Very nice to meet you, Tomek. My name's Charles. I will be conducting your interview today. Uh, first of all, could you just tell me what you understand about the role? What, what you think you'll be doing? So I understand um, you are a leading um, loan company and this is the role um, of a loan manager. So I believe that I will be um, a client-facing role where I will be um, meeting the clients, um, looking, assessing their financial situation and making a decision about whether or not it will be sensible um, to give them a loan and also the many options that you uh, or our company will provide. Absolutely, you've got a very good understanding there Tomic. And could you just tell me a little bit uh, about yourself, you know, not a bit, of, a bit about your personal life maybe and a bit uh, how, how you've come into the loan industry? Okay, so, so a little bit of background. Um, I've been working um, as a junior loan manager and uh, for about five years now. So I've got plenty of experience and I think I'm ready for the, the next step up. Um, so before that I was at a university. I studied at Exeter in the south, um, southwest of England, a very beautiful place. And I did a degree in history. Uh, then afterwards I did a vocational qualification um, to make sure um, that I, I understood more about the financial side of life. Um, and yeah, that's me. And then I, I, I have a, a little family on the go. Um, my, my wife's just given, given birth to our first child. Um, so that's, that's, that's a lovely part of my life is, is underway. So I'm ready to pursue the, the real sort of career move that's gonna, it's gonna make me. Perfect, perfect. And could you tell me a little bit maybe about your strengths and also about your weaknesses? Okay, strengths is, is perhaps easier, so I, I shall say that first. Um, so I think I'm a strong communicator. Um, I enjoy um, meeting people and uh, I think communication is very important in most roles, particularly when you have um, clients to manage. So I'm very clear with what I say, I manage people's expectations and as far as rising up to the um, managerial post, um, I'm very good at um, working with other people. And that's not just talking to them and giving them instructions, but also listening and understanding how we can work together. Um, my weaknesses, I'd say my only real weakness is that um, sometimes I can take on too much and I, I think this is something that I'm learning um, to uh, develop um, a, a weakness that I'm learning to get rid of um, as I progress and that is to make sure I don't take on too much so that the quality of the work that I do is, is to its highest possible level. Great, great. And let's talk a little bit about career progression now. Where do you see yourself in five years time? So in five years time I would love to be in a, in a big company like yourselves. I've, I've enjoyed working in a, a boutique, a smaller company environment, but now I'd like to be in a, in a big organisation where there's wonderful leverage, there's wonderful space to, to grow and uh, you know, you've got this huge market to, uh, to really indulge in. Um, so I'd like to have um, be very comfortable in my, in, my, in my working life and have a, been managing the team and be well respected um, and hopefully earning an good salary too because I'm bringing in lots of money to your firm and reaping the rewards. Great, great. And can you also just tell me about, this is a client facing role as you said yourself yeah. and sometimes you have to deal with difficult customers. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me how maybe in the past you've dealt with difficult clients and uh, you've managed to resolve situations and make sure that uh, customers are treated well? Well previously um, we had a client who essentially had provided us with fraudulent documents or at least misled us over their financial um, status which meant we provided a loan and they weren't able to pay it back and there were implications there obviously. 
Um, so that was very stressful because colleagues of mine decided that they thought um, it was, you know, that they had misled the client. But we, we worked through it very carefully and, and it was just about having strong communication, um, taking everything calmly and slowly and working out where the mistake had been made. And it wasn't, it, it turned out it was that the, the customer themselves were, were misleading us and this was dealt with um, ex externally. Um, but it was just about remaining calm and, and not pointing fingers and not you know, jumping to conclusions. Okay, great, great. And, yeah, very important question. What about your salary expectations for this kind of role? Well, I understand that a lot of, you know, the average salary in this industry is between 50 and 70,000. Um, of course, I'm coming from a junior position, but I would like to hopefully start off in the, you know, mid-level and uh, see where I go. But, um, yeah, I, I think I have a lot to offer you and I think you'll see very quickly that I will be earning a lot of money for your company and that I'll be deserving a high salary and hopefully you'll be pleased to, to pay me that. Mm. And do you have a concrete number I in mind, you know, to, to let HR know about that? Well, of course it's difficult to, to, pre to a precise number, but I, I think at the moment, if I'm to be perfectly honest, I wouldn't want to be earning any less than say 55,000, which is a small increase from what I've been earning and I think would justify the step up into this more senior role. Perfect, Tomek. Thank you for answering that uh, you. question, you know, reasonably and truthfully. I appreciate that. And yeah, I think it remains to be said. Do you have any questions for me? Yes, um, I, I would like to know, um, how do you I, I, I have interviewed with, a, if I'm being perfectly honest, with a couple of your competitors and I'm progressing very well with some of those um, job applications. If you are, if I'm lucky enough to get the offer from you later today, I would like to know where you stand and how you see your company um, compared to your competitors and why, you know, I will, would be making the right decision to choose you. Well, Tomek, that is a very interesting question, um, but I'm afraid we're running out of time today, and uh, I can send you our brochure. Thank you very much. Okay, there we are, uh, everybody. My um, language learners, I hope you enjoyed that short interview, um, just to give you a rough idea of some of the questions, some of the answers. Obviously, this is completely fictitious, but you get the general style, the general tone, and, and that's the important thing here. So don't copy these answers. Really sort of speak truthfully. Be honest. Be creative. Be imaginative. Don't lie. You know, if you're asked about a weakness, try and turn it into a strength. And that's my advice for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And of course, if you want to see more, please subscribe. Um, using our links below and keep up to date with us on social media. Lovely to see you all again. Bye for now.